Mike Bledsoe here with the Daily BS. I just got done doing a uh, nutrition seminar, which should be up in the store soon, um, in the next couple weeks. Um, I got a question from uh, Strong Grizzly, or Grizzly Strong. I think you can find him either way on Twitter. Uh, he submitted a question in reference to the video I did the other day on what I eat. Uh, I walked through my kitchen and showed everybody what I ate, and I happen to have some uh, raw goat's milk in there. And I, I referenced the fact that I eat raw milk um, on uh, Barbell Shrug somewhat frequently, and that he was asking where I get my raw milk because it's actually really hard to find. He actually said uh, it's, it's harder to find than illegal drugs, which I agree. It's much easier to come by illegal drugs than it is raw milk. Um, so, uh, first off, what we need to do is try and change the laws. So, uh, what we need to do is find our, our politicians who happen to be a bunch of asshats and don't know anything about science, really, um, and have a bunch of backwards laws. They're a little busy trying to start new laws and not even worrying about shit that's that's uh, outdated. Uh, so you probably aren't going to change your mind, so you should probably work on just getting them voted out. Um, I personally uh, dislike most of my representatives, especially Mr. Steve Cohen. Uh, he's probably a doctor, so I'll probably give it to him. But anyways, uh, the... Uh, it's actually legal on a federal level, so you can't cross state lines. If you cross state lines with raw milk, you are a felon. Uh, they have actually, in the past couple years, have raided farms for delivering milk across state lines. Uh, come in with guns and everything. Uh, so, uh, that's messed up. And in addition to that, each state has its own set of laws, and they're all different. So it's kind of hard to tell you how to get it in your, in your state particularly. Uh, one way to find out the, the raw milk laws in your state, you can go to farmtoconsumer.org and they have a raw milk map and it will tell you how the laws work in each individual state. Uh, so you can kind of figure out where you can find your loophole. Um, also, I would encourage you to donate money to the farmtoconsumer.org. Uh, there's a uh, legal defense fund for farmers to help make uh, the interaction between us, the consumers, and the farmers a free interaction without uh, government regulation um, or force. And uh, what uh, I say, go do that also, um, in addition to uh, maybe uh, changing your politicians. Uh, so get down to the nuts and bolts of things. Uh, the way I get my milk is I get it straight from a farm. Uh, they sell it as a pet aid uh, and the pet aid um, is you know I, I buy it for my dogs uh, but then I consume it myself and uh, that that's one loophole uh, it says specifically on the bottle not for human consumption uh, that is kind of I, I guess a loophole for them to be able to sell it uh, once they sell it to me then it's in my hands and I can do whatever I want with it uh, some states you can get raw goat milk, but you can't get cow milk. Some states it's completely legal. Most states they've got some weird funky laws. Some states you have to uh, buy a share of a cow, uh, and you buy the share of the cow, and then like you own part of the cow, so it's okay to drink it. So it's uh, it, you're gonna have to figure out for yourself how you can get a hold of it. Most most of the time people just have to get it straight from the farmer themselves. Uh, and, and that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, I wouldn't mind looking further into this uh, at some point. I do get pretty fired up about uh, the government uh, making uh, commerce more irregular by uh, getting in the way um, and trying to coerce us into doing things that aren't healthy for us. But um, uh, if, if you have any more questions about it, send them back and uh, I'll try to do more research. Thanks guys. Hashtag drink raw, hashtag vote out the asshats. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> Peace.